Hey, Shalomon, Shalomon. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's the only true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one who they call Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Um, double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who were well. And honors to you, fellow brothers out there, kicking this word in all sincerity and truth. Walking in the spirit and not in the flesh, man. The house of David, the Bayad, that will die being risen back up in the midst of our adversaries. And, um, you know, pretty much the Lord has this movie going out perfectly just like he wants it to go out. You know, we got these racial tensions. We got Jacob going against Esau. All right, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans fighting against the so-called white men. And you're actually waking up to knowing who your adversaries are. All right? We got martial law pretty much around the corner. We got these race wars popping off. So everything is happening perfectly, man. And in, um, in this truth, you know, as well, we have a lot of things going on, man. You know, the house of David is, is standing stronger than ever. And you know, one thing about David before he was established as king, what happened? He was on the run. You know what I'm saying? He was being chased by the house of Saul. He was being spoken evil of by the house of Saul. But guess what? The Lord was always on the side of David, and David overcame. Because David, he was in the he was in the spirit, he was not in the flesh. And um, a lot of men are in the flesh. A lot of men they seek to persecute you, not based off the scriptures, but based off the flesh. You know, based off of personal experiences that you might have um, had with certain men. All right, based off of what men may have said about you, and um, the accusations might be false. But man, because they lean more to the majority and they lean more to the masses, they tend to take the size of the majority. But what's going to give us the victory is not being carnal. The scriptures lay out the plans on how you win the spiritual war. And we're in a highly spiritual war. We're fighting against our enemies, these other nations, Esau, Edom, and we're also fighting against our own people. All right, man in this truth. All right, man that have so-called pushing this truth but yet they hate their fellow brothers they hate their fellow brothers in the heart they have that envy and hatred but what what i'm saying through the spirit is you don't have to have that much experience in this truth you just gotta have a spiritual mind that you can see all things man all right so what i'm notice, noticing is the house of david is growing stronger and they're waxing bolder in the most high the lord when he came on the scene he wasn't just about peace Thus, he brought the great uh, uh, news and he brought the gospel to our people. But he also brought division because the spirit of the Lord is a revealer of hearts. He reveals everything that happens. He reveals the intents in the hearts of men. Now, what was set up during the time of the wicked Pharisees was Yahweh was throwing down all those uh, stumbling blocks that the Pharisees had set up. Why? Because they were, they were set up to be those wicked guys that had to act. They put on these garments as if they were righteous, but deep inside they were really wicked men. So I'm going to start at Luke chapter 2 and verse 34. And Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. So Yahweh shall he was set for a fall and a rising against of many in Israel and for a sign which be spoken against. So if Yahweh was, was that way, if he was to be spoken against, then his 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 little ones are gonna be the same way. See the elect they're not gonna be accepted by the masses, man. The elect were not the elect are not put on this earth to be accepted. Now we call ourselves the hopeful elect. So the mindset that we're in, you know, me and a brother preaching this truth. We're not in this to be liked by the masses. It's not about that. You can have any type of acronym on your name. GMS, IUIC, ISUPK. All right? You can have any of those titles, even within our own little sanctuary. That doesn't mean you're a man of the Lord. That does not mean you're going to make it. So, knowing that this picture that has been painted, that everybody is sincere, Everybody is righteous in this in this truth is false, man. So knowing that, 
We don't care about being liked by the masses. We don't care about being accepted. What we do care about is speaking the whole truth, regardless if it's going to make a lot of men emotional. Because that's all it's about. It's about emotions with a lot of men. It's not about the truth. And a lot of men, they hate certain men, not based on what the scriptures say, because it's not about the doctrine. You know, we follow, we're under the guidance of the apostles and elders of GMS. It's not about the doctrine. It's not about us being lukewarm, because we're hot for the Lord. We can say that. We do this work every single day, all right? And though it's not about works, it's all about your in, the intents of your heart. It's all about your effort. It's all about the, the your mindset, your spiritual mindset that you have towards the Most High. But even in that, with, with you bringing out the whole truth, you use pinpointing certain topics that men don't want to talk about, that men are lukewarm, men are really demons in this truth. And there's going to be a lot of men that advocate for these men because... They might like a certain man, but if you have a spiritual eye, you can see that certain men, there are, are demons. A lot of men, they're, they're really not about the Lord. It's all about fulfilling their own flesh. So it says, yet yeah, a sword shall pierce through their own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts shall be revealed. And that's what the elect are doing. They're revealing the hearts of many men in this truth, man. See, certain men were just given that spirit to just bring out the whole truth. A lot of men were not given that spirit. They were given the spirit to just go along just to get along. You see wickedness, you don't talk about it. But there are men that are on this earth today preaching this truth that were given that spirit to bring everything out. Which really, that's all in the doctrine. And we're getting the blood off our hands, man. Yet, you see the house of David is growing stronger. And the house of Saul is getting weaker. Because what happened with the house of Saul? They came against the house of David. Saul wanted to kill David. You know, David had all the opportunities to kill Saul, but what? He kept it spiritual. And that's exactly what we do. That's how you win this battle. You, we don't get carnal. We keep it spiritual. All right? That's how you win, man. Psalms chapter 120 and verse 6. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hate his peace. You know, so we're in this battle. So... If you don't want to speak the whole truth or if you get offended at certain men because of what they bring out, then why the hell are you in this battle? Why are you fighting to get fight of faith? Where the scriptures say, who's going to stand up for me against the evildoers? Not just somebody that's going to preach the truth and not say a damn thing about the wickedness that's going on. We talk about Esau, the wickedness that's going on with these different nations. We talk about everything that's happening, man. But when it comes to our own people in this truth, you got to understand that a lot of men, they were rejected by the Most High. Yahweh Shai, his spirit condemned a lot of men because they, they tried to fall on that stone, but they were broken to pieces, man. So it says, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. So when, when we speak, guess what? The demons that were in men, it gets, it gets brought out. Because it's not about the scriptures, it's all about how men feel. It's not about your fucking emotions, man. It's all about what the scriptures say. And if you get offended at men for bringing out the scriptures, you're offended at the spirit of Yahweh Shin Yahweh and that's going to get you killed. A lot of you guys, you guys are not examining yourself, man. You know? Let me get this other precept right here. This is Matthew chapter 22 and verse and verse 34. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse 35. Then one of them which was a lawyer asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yahweh said, said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and all the prophets. You see that? So the Pharisees were constantly trying to get Yahweh Shai caught up in his words. But guess what? Yahweh Shai, he kept it spiritual. That's how he was able to overcome. He kept it within the boundaries of the scriptures. Because once you get, once you get carnal, once you get into these personal attacks, that's when the guys, these guys that are demons, they, they, they can bring up all types of accusations. But you see that the house of David is overcoming, just like before. 
Jumping down to verse 46. And no man was able to answer him a word. So the Lord put these guys to shame, man. He shut their mouth. They were not able to speak anymore because they know deep down that the Lord was in the right spirit. They knew that he was telling the truth, man. And these guys, they were just coming at him. They kept coming back. They kept coming back. Kept making these accusations, but they were all false. And the Lord was able to overcome at the end. It says, And no man was able to answer him a word. Neither does any man from that day forth to ask him any more questions, man. These guys, these guys shut the hell up, man. They were not able to ask the Lord any more questions. Because the spirit of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai is going to break in pieces any, any person that comes against his men. Alright? This thing is not carnal, man. It's not carnal. Now we're in this race, but not every man's in the same battle. You know? The spirit of Yahweh is a separator, man. It divides. Because there are some men that are in the district likes and gimmicks. There are some men that are in this truth for women. All right? They're trying to get some punani for this truth. There are some men that are in this truth just to make a name for themselves because they never had prestige in the world. Yeah, and there, there's the house of David. Those that are in this truth just to please the most high and do his will. And yet they get accused. They get, they get falsely accused. But that's all right, though, man, because these men were said to come against the house of David just to be destroyed. And a lot, a lot of men don't know it, but they have taken the sides of the wicked. Because instead of just looking at this thing through the spirit, you want to be in your flesh. But that's all right, man, because guess what? When that pride comes in, then there, there comes a fall. And a lot of you guys have fallen into the condemnation of the devil, man. That pride has seeped up in you. So this is 1 Peter chapter 3. And let me start at verse, um, in verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The Lord is watching you guys, man. You know, you might be talking behind the doors. You might be saying this and saying that. A hey, the scriptures say, if you shall offend one of the Lord's little ones, it was better for a damn millstone to be tied upon your neck and you cast into the sea. You know, a lot of you guys hate man because he's not in your group or because you don't agree with him out of eye. It's not about the scriptures with you guys. It's all about a personal vendetta. And if you guys don't repent, you guys are going to be destroyed, man. And who is he that will harm you if he be followers or that which is good? But if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts and be always ready to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And the reason of our hope is to please the Lord, not to please men. See, if, if, you're, if you're doing this for men, then guess what? You're not going to bring out the whole truth. You're going to be a shame of bringing out certain topics because of how a man may feel. It ain't about men. It ain't about how a man feels. It's about speaking the whole truth, man. And if that means, you know, you being hated and you being spoken evil of, that's okay. Because all the prophets were hated. All the prophets were spoken evil of. Verse 17. For it is better if the will of the Most High be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Yahweh Messiah also has once suffered for sins, that, that uh, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahweh, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. But which he also went and preached unto the spirits in prison. That's right, man. That's right. Because all the enemies of the cross will be put to death, man. And there's a lot of enemies of the cross out there, man. Feign himself to be just man. Isaiah 33 and verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Why they're afraid? Because the Lord is bringing this thing faster than a lot of you guys imagine. And really, if you're, if you're really a demon, if you're really not sincere and you're doing this work, if, you're, if your whole heart's not into this, 
if you're just doing it just to do it, just to meet uh, meet the plateau, to meet the goal of three videos a week, and you're really not sincere, you're making all types of excuses, you're in that lukewarm spirit, the Lord's going to spill you out, man. And your ass is going to be put to death. It don't matter who you know, because this is a person-by-person -person basis. It's your relationship with the Most High, and the Lord has is spotlighting a lot of guys out there that their relationship is not built with the Most High, it's with men. You know? And this is why they hate when certain topics come out. Because they're justifying the wicked and condemning the just. So it says, The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us should dwell with the divine fire? And who among us should dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despises the gains of oppressions, that shakes his hands from holding a bribe. So we're not in that spirit of trying to hold back the scriptures just because of how you feel. Because a lot of guys, they don't even know if they're going to make it. Yet, they want to say this about you. <laughs> hey, this scriptures, these scriptures cut to the heart if you're not right, man. They cut to the heart if you're really a demon. He that stops his ears from hearing the blood and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on a high. His place of defense should be the, the monuments of rocks. Bread should be given him. His water should be sure. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They should behold the land that is far off. That's right, man. That's right. Those that do the will of the Lord with their whole heart. That keepeth their hand from shedding blood. And that, 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 that abhor evil. You got to abhor evil. You gotta, you gotta condemn evil when you see it, man. You know, if you get offended at this, this is a broad subject, and this is going to whosoever. If you get offended at this, what does it say about you, man? But we know why you get offended because all prophecies must be fulfilled. Because the dumb, wicked Pharisees and the Sadducees, they're back, man. Proverbs 16 and verse 25. There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right? A lot of guys have gotten that pride to seep up in them, man. They think they're doing the right thing by coming up against certain men that are teaching the same truth just like you. Hey, the ways of that is death, man, because the Lord is spotlighting every single last one of you guys, man. All right? Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 27. The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. That's right, man. Let me get this last precept and I'm going to close out. I pretty much got the point. The house of David can't be stopped. And all those that come up against the house of David, their mouths are being closed, man. That's why you have a lot of guys that can't go out to the highways and byways. Instead of just looking at it one way, you got to look at it the other way. What if the Lord is shutting the mouths of those guys because they're demons? The Lord does not want everybody to teach his truth, man. Because a lot of guys deep inside, they're not right. Deep inside, these guys are fucking demons, man. They have hate. They have envy in their hearts. But they're still teaching this Bible. Luke chapter 24 and verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which are written in the, in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Right, man. And what was fulfilled against them, against Yahweh Shai. You know, he was falsely accused. Man came up against him. You know, sought to put him to death. See, if we were, if we were in the face of some of these guys, I call themselves men of the Lord. They would put us to death, man, because of that envy and that hatred. And this is why the Lord is separating the house of David from the house of Saul. And the house of David is going to wax stronger and stronger while you demons out there are going to wax weaker and weaker, man. We can see it. We can see it, man. All right, so with that, all the praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. 
Rakakwa Dash, Shalom.